in part one we explain the meaning of the characters we're going to be using and explain how you can get this file from my uh, public box folder now we're going to be using the, the the first example to build that and to use this we are going to use a let me actually eliminate all this we're going to be using a website that I find extremely convenient it is regex101.com very simple it's free right in which you put the log that you are searching for in here and here the regex you are trying to search similar to what curator does on the custom property but this is completely outside curator right this is for you to practice so let's actually grab these logs I'm gonna do shift arrow key down I'm gonna copy that into the clipboard and I'm gonna paste it here and what we let's say that the mission that we have is to capture that translate to capture uh, to, to parentheses and capture group whether something uh, that that is follows the word blocked is yes or, or is no or whatever is that that is saying right it's actually go back here let first find in the log do control F and look for the word blocked and here we find it right so notice that w w it, it begins with a, a double quote the word cloud block a double quote colon space and false right and we want to extract that either false or true or whatever comes in there well th that's actually very easy all we need to do is actually grab the, f the, the beginning of this let's actually not be that lazy and let me actually type it so I, I begin I want to begin the match and say well fine all the double quotes there are many but specifically the one that starts with blocked and that's the good one and also we are not interested on the other quote we are not interested on the column move on and uh, there is a, a space at least we see that there's one so let's actually put backslash remember from part one on the on the on that notes file and, and now we have moved beyond that point now I'm gonna I'm gonna we want to capture what comes next but we, we can't forget about the, the capture right now but let's say that I'm interested in locating the false right well there are different ways of doing this and that has a lot to do with the performance or your taste or whatever it is the good thing is that you'll see that this website tells you uh, how many steps it took so you can actually even get a, a feeling for the performance of, of, uh, of, of your of, uh, your regex so uh, let's, if we want to find here um, either the word the word false right so I'm going to put a set of words here false better type it right or true actually I don't need to even put it I don't believe I'd have to put it into yeah, a range if I put here false of true notice that it, it actually matches here with the false part right now but that is precisely what I want to extract because that's going to be my custom property or that's what I want to use on the DSM editor or whatever so well I need to put that part which is what I want to extract in between parentheses right and if we let me move this here to the left what we can see here is that the capture group is it has capture in here false well I can make this better let's say that uh, they, they, there can be uh, more than than one space right I want this to not to fail if there are two spaces in here it's one or more what is the meta character for one or more was the plus sign right and here we see that it still captures that and, and if there were multiple spaces in here it will still work right because we that's what we added that meta character and that didn't had any major impact on the performance of it however let's say that uh, it can be false true or unknown or some other words and you want to extract that one well then we need to do a little bit more uh, work in here one of the things we can do is actually instead of looking for false or true we can look for any characters that will be in there right so remember that and I, I'm assuming that they are all lowercase they can be A to Z, right? That's a range of uh, letters. And they can be one or more, right? Because notice that if I only if leave it like that, there's only one. And notice that the capture group is saying, well, I only find the F, 
because that's the first character. But if you want to say one or more and you put the plus sign in here, boom, it gets whatever it is in here. So let's say that it, it, that, that this say that this is going to say unknown or whatever is it that they're typing. Yeah, I'm just going to grab it and I'll have that uh, that custom property. Let's say that I want to make this better. Notice that the performance is around the same number of steps, right? Uh, I want to make this better because it can be A to Z, but it can be also upper cases as well. So I can put just A to Z, right? And still matches, right? And, and, and then if, if this, if the guy who wrote, writes the log, you know, puts it with, with combination of letters, it's uh, still going to work. That's example number one. Let's actually continue uh, on this together, learning a few things about Regex. Uh, I, I almost forgot that you know this is what we have in here. So remember, in this file, you're going to have what is the custom property you are you want to extract. Uh, the, here's the regular expression being used, and here's a sample log for you to test. We're going to grab a few more examples uh, on the next uh, videos.